When it comes to selling their homes, what do sellers really want when they sell their home? So if you're a seller, I have three tips for you. But if you're a buyer, you may want to know what do sellers look for in an agent or in general when they're thinking about selling their home. So as a buyer, you know what they're thinking about so when you make an offer, you can make an offer accordingly. So here are the three tips. Thanks for watching my channel. By the way, I'm Mike Patel with First Team Real Estate in Anaheim Hills, California. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time or if you've been here several times, I really appreciate it. And also would like to suggest to you to subscribe to my channel as I come up with one or two videos every week with updates, trends in real estate and what's coming up in real estate. So thanks for watching. Let's get right into the three tips. Tip number one. So the number one thing all sellers want and assuming they are talking to a realtor or a real estate an agent the question they're gonna ask the realtor is how much will I get for my house so that's the most important question and the number one thing that all the sellers want is obvious if I was a seller myself I would ask the same question and the question is how much can I get for my house that's a great question and there's a very good reason to get the most price and one thing I've known for being in real estate for such a long time all sellers want the number one thing is the price and on a side note all buyers want want from the home is a lower price. So as agents, we're stuck between the sellers and the buyers because sellers always want the highest price and buyers always want the lowest price. So we try to do the best thing we can. So to address the question of how much can you get us the money, please understand if you're a seller or a buyer that agents don't set the price. The price is set by the market and ultimately what the buyers and the sellers decide. So if the market for a home is $500,000 and the seller really really has to move out because he has a job transfer or there's a medical emergency, they have to move to their parents or their siblings. And if they really have to sell, they may sell the house for 475 or 480, even though the market is 500. So that's the price of the home. On the other hand, if the market value is 500, but the seller has done a lot of upgrades, he's not really motivated to sell. He has a swimming pool. He has a view. He may want 550 for the house because of the upgrades and the view and a special location that he has. So the ultimate price is decided between the buyer and the seller and they get the market value. Agents don't set the price, but the number one thing sellers want is always the price in that market. The second thing that all the sellers want and the second most important thing, especially when it comes to asking the agent when they're interviewing agents or realtors is how long will it take to sell my house? That's a second very important question because on a normal market, it may take anywhere from three to six months to sell and the sellers don't want to wait three or six months and have open houses and strangers coming in their house. Sellers may have kids, sellers may have elderly parents, they may have sick people in the house and the less traffic, the better. So so the best way to sell the house is to sell it fast and statistically in a normal market usually homes sell within 17 to 21 days that's a great market of course in the last couple of years 21 22 early spring homes were selling in three or four days that's an unusual market but in a normal market 45 to 60 days is a good time to sell your home and put it in an escrow if it takes longer than that then several things may not be right either the marketing is not right or the house is not showing well or your house may be overpriced so to sell your home fast within a reasonable time in a normal market look to sell within 17 to 30 days that's a good time and if it's not selling after four months after five months and if your agent or realtor has done everything regarding marketing and your house is in normal condition is easily accessible shows well then the issue may be the price so you may want to visit the first thing that they want is the price because any overpriced listing does not sell and will not sell buyers will pay market value they're not going to pay over market value especially in this market where it's taking a slowdown so they may even offer you less than the market value assuming the market value is changing and gradually dropping as of November 2022 it is still a very strong market it is still a seller's market as of right now as of today but home prices are not jumping like they used to in fact they're stabilizing and with the high interest rate almost eight percent and high inflation rate almost eight percent and peak home prices buyers are being cautious I'm seeing a lot 
auto homes that are reducing their prices. In fact, I have a listing in Irvine for 1.2. I just reduced it to $50,000. I have requested the seller to reduce it another $25,000 because there's just no traffic in the house. So the market value is market value. And if it's priced right, marketed right, shows well, and is easily accessible, it should sell within 17 to 30 days in this market. If it does not sell, price is an issue. So hope that helps. The third thing that's important to sellers when it comes to selling their home is they're gonna ask the agent or realtors, what will you do to sell your home? Or what will you do to sell my house? Obviously, the number one question was price, assuming they listing at the right price. And he has, uh, the agent, he or she has given them a timeline, whether it's two months, three months, four months, five months, depending on where they are and what the seller's asking for it. The third thing that is important that the house sells within that time period and within a certain price range is what as an agent will you do to sell the house, which is very important because if the house is priced right, if it is accessible and it shows well, it's in a good location, has good curb appeal, and if it does not sell, then maybe the agent is not giving the right exposure to the house. And there's two kinds of exposures when it comes to agents marketing to other people. The first one is more than the buyers exposing your listing or your house to agents in your area because 92% of all the homes, according to National Association of Realtors, is sold through realtors. So as an agent myself, my first objective is sell the house to the realtors because if they agree on the price, agree on the location, and they like their terms and conditions, they're gonna push that house to the buyers. And the second exposure that I do or what agents should do is expose the house to the regular buyers directly. So to recap the three things, number one, the sellers are gonna ask is number one is how much will I get for the house? The second thing they're gonna ask is how long is it gonna take the house to sell? And number three, what will you do to sell a house? So hope that clarifies. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you for subscribing.